Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Brandon Johnson from Easeboats TV. And today I get to show you this beautiful 2008 Harris LX 220 Super... Shit balls, what is it? 230. <laughs> What's up guys, it's me, Brandon Johnson from Used Boats TV. And today we just got in this gorgeous 2008 Harris 230 LX Super Sunlight or Tritune. I'm super pumped to show you why it's super awesome for you. But first, I'd like to introduce our channel. I've been passionately selling boats for over 19 years. The purpose of this channel is to help you and your family enjoy boats and boating just as much as my family and I enjoy it. So thanks to the help of my staff. Hi, Brandon. Hi, We've been able to successfully upload hundreds of boat reviews, construction and operation, health, and how-to videos. I don't ask for anything in return, except for the opportunity to possibly help you find a boat in your time. So to stay up on everything we upload, click that subscribe button below and stay tuned. Nice. All right, coming around the port sides, so this bad gal has the big 25-inch logs. Front fence is in great shape. Always a place to look because the front ends will be all banged in. So we got a little bruises on the rubber rail in the corner up here, but no big deal. LED docking lights, we got a cleat to tie it up. You'll be amazed at how many pontoon boats don't have cleats and you don't realize it till you go to tie it up. It's got the rubber rubber rail part of the rough water package. It's got the bimini top with the quick release poles. What these little dilly bobs up here are for is to put your cleats in. So the one that's mounted on top, you know, your bimini opens and connects. The others, you can clip your thing in there and you don't have to worry about adjusting your cleats. So again, pontoons are in great shape. It's got the lifting strakes, sheeted underbelly for protection. 150 Verado, that's a four stroke Mercury with power assist to steering and digital throttle shift. Runs amazing. It's got the ski tow bar, rear entry boarding ladder. It's got the deep reach one too. It's got the extra step on it, which is an option. All the fencing is like nice and shiny. It's always something to look at because the heat warms up that aluminum and then those stickers like to pop and come off. So we got a little skinny door here, rear entry, port side entry, and bow entry. I don't know if I showed you the pontoons that good. So dropping down here, thought I should explain something real quick if I can hold this. This may look really stupid, but bear with me. So when I was real young, I was probably 19, I sold a pontoon boat that didn't have the uh, sheeting underneath, and I took out the customers for a test drive, and I didn't even know what the hell sheeting was at the time, and we hit a big wave when the customer was driving, and water sprayed in the floor, uh, through the floor in between my legs like a bad TV show, and I freaked out, so turn around, guys, turn around. So I called the service department, I told them, hey, we're, we're going down, please pull us out of the water. This is a no-joke story. So we get to the service department, they pull us out of the water, and guess what? Everybody made fun of me. Why? Because it didn't have sheeting underneath. So the floors of these boats aren't made out of one great big piece of wood. That'd be a huge piece. No, they're lateral sheets. So the sheeting underneath does a few things that most salespeople don't even know. Number one, stops water from uh, shooting up through the floor. Number two, stops water from hitting these cross channels and creating drag. Um, number three, it knocks the splash down, makes it a lot quieter in the boat. So those are the biggest things and these are all in really good shape. Uh, you got to watch for boats that were picked up with forklifts, like in marinas, because a lot of times they'll hit that, bend it. No big deal. It's cheap to fix, but let's keep looking at it. It's got the solid aluminum keels, full length of the pontoons. That helps track straight on the water. So now that we have a good idea, hopefully great information, let's jump inside. So we're going to do this video a little different because tritunes have a ton of room. That's what's great about them. They have a ton of room and they ride amazing in rough water. Why? Because they float over the waves. They don't necessarily cut through them. So doing a butt seat test on a tri tune would take half half hour because it fits a lot of butts. So once again, 2008 Harris that we have for sale here and I'm gonna show you all the features of it. So we have our front chairs up here. Now this is fishing chairs if you wanna use them for that, but they are so plush and comfortable. So even if you don't like to fish, you can sit up here, keep your legs back and sell tickets to these seats. Uh, uh, one argument I have with some customers is they don't want seats in the front because they lose seating. That's incorrect. 
because the fencing would actually come around right here and you'd have a small flat front deck. Uh, so you'd lose an armrest. In this seating configuration, you gain two seats and lose, lose a couple armrests. And who cares about them? You guys are back here having fun. So the vinyl in this is in great shape. We'll stay to the port side to keep it simple. We have a trash can right here. It's all Rotocast seat bases, so we have storage underneath. Rotocast seat bases down here. So if you like to fish, you can use it as a live well. If you don't like to fish, you can just get bombed and use that for a cooler. Down here on the floor, we have ski storage. So this can put a lot of children in if they get you mad at them. <laughs> you got stainless cup holders, Rotocast storage boxes. This is our skinny door, which I don't fit through. Just kidding, I can fit through it just fine. It's been a good winter. Harris does do a great job of having this beautiful fiberglass helm right in here that Mason didn't clean out. Mason, my brother that works here with me, he's <coughs> on the camera, uh, didn't clean it out, but you can put some good stuff in. Little non-slip for your telephone, stainless steel cup holders, because if you have an annoying family, you need to have two and three cup holders to get bombed. Right here, you can slide a cooler. We have good dry storage in there. Nothing, more storage, more storage. All the vials in beautiful shape, except for a couple spots on the back of the captain chairs we have to fix because the delivery driver didn't listen. So L-shaped seating in here, we have dual batteries with a switch, which is a great feature. There's two things I feel like every pontoon should have that is very difficult. A lot of them don't have one or the other, and I'm saying they should all have two things. Number one, an hour meter, a lot of pontoons don't have it. Number two, dual batteries with a switch, a lot of them don't have it. Benefit of dual batteries with the switches, we're gonna stop Cove out, listen to the radio, switch her to one, that way if we go to start it, click, 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 switch to the other one. That's what happens when your fingers are cold. And after you get it started, you're going a little bit, turn it to all. Mercury Verados don't have stators, they have alternators. So it's very powerful and keeps a good charge on the battery. Why do you think your grandpa always used to use a battery tender on his pontoon boat. It's not because he was old and old people do that kind of stuff, it's because it needed it. Right back here, we have storage in the aft port side corner. Right in here is our power assisted pump. So there's a lot of features on Tritons specifically that um, salespeople make sound great, right? I don't care how you bend it, break it, or shake it. If it has something similar, it's good. But there are two features that I feel will drastically enhance your boat ownership experience, no matter what all these other features are shaped like. Uh, number one, digital throttle shift. That's not a cable, you're electrically shifting. Power assisted steering, what is that? So you have hydraulic steering, sounds great. It's really not, it's better than cable steering, kinda, but you're forcing the fluid through the lines to turn. With this, they basically splice into that, hook power, hook ground, and when you turn, it electronically forces fluid through the line. So it's literally, you know, I always say you can punch me in the face if you can't turn it with one finger. Um, but there's a disclaimer, if you don't have any fingers, then I can't make that bet, all right? <laughs> Keep moving. Bimini's in great shape, our anchor light's built in. We have a ski tow bar back here. Always watch out when you're shopping. You don't realize sometimes it doesn't have a ski tow bar until you go to ski, so that sucks when that happens. Real cozy captain's chair, this thing is awesome. Super plush and cozy, shiny shifters are good because it's digital throttle shift. In here we have smart craft gauges, what's that? This is basically a heart monitor for a motor. It'll tell us more than we ever know want to know. We have a CD player and it has Sublime in it. Uh, anyone that listens to Sublime is, is okay with me. All right, down here, we have a glove box full of nothing, but you can lock that when you're going to the bar. Helm's beautiful, tilt steering. Am I missing anything? No? Good, great, grand. Thank you so much for watching our video. Please subscribe to our channel if you haven't. Check out our boat inventory that's growing rapidly at useboatstv.com. Our boat trailer business, if you see trailers everywhere, Gladstone Cove Boat Trailer Sales.com. I know that's long. I'm sorry. I couldn't come up with something in a hurry. Um, and check out our awesome cleaning products as well as the stuff that we have designed ourselves, like our adrift dock lines at the buttseatspray.com. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you on the water. Just a good old boy.